Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. So I'm in a different location today. I'm actually staying in a Premier Inn. So I do love a good Premier Inn. I haven't stayed in one for a couple of months. I actually did stay in one for a wedding in Dartford a couple of months ago and I'm staying in one near Lakeside today. I'm actually staying here because of work. It's closer to where I'm working currently. So instead of driving so, so far home in the evenings, I thought I would just book a hotel for a couple of nights. So I decided to book the Premier Inn and I thought I would just show you around real quick, but we're gonna go to Lakeside. I know they've got a Disney cafe in the Primark. I don't know if I'm gonna go in there. I don't know if it'll be open, we'll see. It's around half three, I think it is now. So I thought I would just put a bit of makeup on after work, so I finished a little bit early today, show you around here and then take you to Lakeside with me because I don't think I've been since I was like 11. So I'm really excited to see it. Apparently they've got a really good Primark as well. If you can see blue, it's because I've got the TV on. Apparently they've got a really good Primark, like a really good Disney section. So yeah, I thought I would do a little vlog while I'm here because why not? I'm staying away and also I, it's so weird. I never really go away by myself and it's just so quiet. Like you get into the hotel after work and it's just so quiet. But um, I thought I'd just show you this little room. It's pretty basic, but in case you're from the US or if you're wanting to stay in a Premier and you haven't stayed in one before, which I'm probably sure most of you have, I thought I'd show you. Okay, so as you first come in, you have little hooks here to hang up coats. All my coats are in the car. And then we have this little vanity area. There is me, and this light actually turns on and off down here. I've just been doing my hair. So we have this little bit here, but I like to sit down in the morning, so I think I'm gonna take a chair and sit here and do my makeup in the morning. I've got some clothes here for work. And this is like the room, it's actually quite big, although we have a big double bed, obviously just for me, but we have this bed here, which so far I've just dumped all my stuff on. I don't know why we've got another bed. I don't know what would have been there normally, maybe nothing, I don't know. So we've got a big double bed and we've got these little side lights which I put on. But in the other Premier Inn, in the other Premier Inn, which is literally down the road, they had um, the, the behind the backboard, behind this, it like glowed purple and I was like, what? So we pressed this button and it just like, oh, it was just, it was a vibe. So this hotel that I'm staying in, this is, Thurrock Premier Inn, I think it is. It's near Perfleet, Thurrock Premier Inn, I think that's the one, Thurrock West. But this one in particular has like new rooms. So where's my purple glowing light? We don't have it and I'm gutted because that would have been such a vibe tonight. But that is the bed, I'm gonna flip you around. We have a full size mirror there. And then you have this little desk area here. We have a TV which I popped on, do not know what that is in the middle. We have aircon, not going to need that because I'm always cold, but we have actually got a restaurant downstairs in this one. So you can actually book a table or you can take to room offer. But if I'm going to go to um, Lakeside, I think I may just get some dinner there. But that is the menu. And then there's like a big menu here. Look, it's actually really big. So I guess, look, if you're... Look out for the take room icon on selection of your dishes. These dishes are available to take away or enjoy in your room. Please visit us in the restaurant to order your take room meal. Or if you need any more information, please speak to a member of the team. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I do like having a bit of room service. No, it's room, not room service, but you know what I mean. So we have a pretty big menu in this one if you want to eat, which is good. And then that's the desserts on the back. And then there's a breakfast menu, but I'm not having breakfast here. I'm going to have breakfast at work tomorrow. And then, this was actually on the door. So I think it's all about, um, like, COVID and being clean and all that stuff. And making sure that they've cleaned the room and all that. So, yeah. And that's good. They won't be cleaning the room daily. That means I can leave everything out and not have to worry. This is what we look on to. I'm on the second floor. There's only three floors in this hotel and it's, it's not a vibe, guys. Look, it's not a vibe. That way is Lakeside, so that is where I'm going to go in a bit. But we're literally on <laughs> this, like, dual carriageway. Beautiful views of Essex. Okay, I thought I would take you into the bathroom. I actually completely forgot about this. So this is our bathroom. It's quite a nice big size. Hey, friends. And we actually have... 
a bath. Well, it's a bath slash shower vibe. Oh my gosh, I've just realised the shower is not detachable. I'm going to have to go to Primark and buy a shower cap. I'm going to wash my hair tonight, but I don't want to wash it in the morning. Is there no other option for that? Sometimes you can detach them. Okay, that's not a detachable one. Maybe even have a bath. And then reused towels. So we've got one towel here. Is it just one? Normally they give you like a hand towel. Why are we so blurry, guys? Okay, so I actually just looked at this, the reusable towel thing, which is fine. I'm staying for two nights, so that's absolutely fine. But it says, need a non-slip bath mat. Just come and ask us at reception. I don't know if I can be bothered to do that. But it's a bit annoying, because if you want to wash your hands and put a towel on the floor as well to like stop water going everywhere. You only have one towel to like dry yourself with. That's annoying. And then we have a hair and body gel section here, but I brought my own stuff. And then we've got soap here. And then this big vanity, I've got obviously all my makeup and toiletries and hair stuff. And then we have brought Tums actually. I got these in America. I had such bad heartburn yesterday that it was just making me feel sick. I, I think it was heartburn and acid reflux. I never really had it before. So I thought I'd bring them just in case I get it again today, but I haven't. Um, so yeah, that that is pretty much your premium room. Very basic, very simple. But in this area, there was the Ibis and there also was the Travel Lodge. And they didn't look as nice as this one although i say that the one i stayed in over in dartford a few months back i feel was a little bit more of a vibe i think actually i think the dartford one actually had newer rooms <coughs> oh my god yeah i think that one had newer rooms even though it says this one does so that's that let's go to primark in lakeside and I don't really, I'm not looking for anything in particular. I'm not actually wanting to go shopping, but I think I might go there. I think it's pretty close. I literally look like a floating head in this jumper, don't I? Let's see how far away it is. Lakeside, because I, if I get like five guys, for example, for dinner, I can just bring it back without it getting cold. Or oh, you can order delivery here as well, but it's the pain. Oh, it's only eight minutes in the car. Okay, and there's a Costco near here girls oh my gosh okay okay i am gonna go to lakeside i'll try and bring you along with me we'll see how busy it is because i think the kids will be out of school by now so um if not maybe we'll go tomorrow night who knows but let's go 270 yards turn left onto grebe crest oh my god guys so i was on my way to lakeside and then there's this massive retail outlet and they've got a massive home sense tk max they've got a b m they've got curry's next natuzzi what else do they have their costa subway they've got a little they've got so much stuff here and then i was driving and then i saw a massive tim horton drive through and if you don't know tim horton like they do it's like they say it's Canada's best coffee and they do these donuts and I only had the donuts at work the other day because someone bought them but oh my god I, I went to the drive through oh my gosh and I got a caramel macchiato you can tell I've been up since 5 today 5am today guys um, I got a caramel macchiato iced one and I'd never been to a Tim Horton before so I was like at the drive through like what do I order and I didn't even get any donuts but they're open until midnight and I'm here for two nights so you know I'm going to come back. But look, I'll show you my iced caramel macchiato. Yes. Let's, let's taste test it. I know I need a straw. Because I feel like with caramel macchiato, you can't taste it all. Why didn't they give me a straw? Right. Anyways, on the way to Lakeside. Okay, I'm parked in Lakeside. And, um... You know when like you're just not used to going somewhere that you don't know? I didn't know what the best car park was to park. I'm parked in car park D. There were so many. Um, I don't know how to get into the shops. This is going to be an experience, but I'm going to take you guys along with me. And um, hopefully it won't be too busy. It's open till nine. Nine! Can you imagine having to work till nine? So, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at the eatery. They have 
a Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell since I was in America. And they've got Shake Shack as well. All today. Oh my god, the, all the food I'm going to eat in here. So that's upstairs. I'm trying to find Primark and I cannot find it. This place is absolutely massive. absolutely stop it with this this is the cutest backpack I'm not an overly big Donald fan but look at this I think I'm gonna need that one I think it's 12 but that's so cute and then there's a bigger one down there but that print is so cute oh my gosh and then we've got this backpack here with Mickey embossed on it and then a hold all down there and then a little crossbody. I don't love that one. It's in sale for seven pound. And then what's on the end? We've got oh, a crossbody Mickey khaki bag for twelve. Okay, the Donald one has to come home with me. Okay, so we've got like all the wash bags. There's a um, Dumbo one there. We've got a Yoda or well, baby Grogu. And then there's a little four pound Valentine's Day one. Oh, this is quite cute, actually. God, I haven't been in a Primark for so long. So that's really cute. Those ones, I don't know how much that one is. Probably 10? Oh, it's 8. And then, what have we got this side? Oh, this is good for putting your makeup brushes in. Not that I need it, but that's £3. It's a little Minnie Mouse one. And we've got that Disney one there, and then the bigger version of the makeup bag there. Oh, and there's a Dumbo one right at the bottom. There you go, with my bag in it. But then there's also Stitch and Angel stuff up here, if you love Stitch and Angel, which I'm not a massive fan of them. And then there's that one there. So they're like £4 and £8. But there is a Minnie Mouse fluffy one, which I'm trying to find. But I haven't been able to find it. Because all the Disney stuff's here. Oh, look, there's the, there's the black one. Yeah, that's the black one. They had a baby pink version of that. But I guess they've just got that one. That's actually not that cute in person. But yeah, before I forget, I need to get a shower cap, don't I? I don't want an expensive one, so I'm just going to get this one. £1.50. And then they have all of this beauty stuff here. Look at that. How cute. They've got a ton of Mickey and Minnie stuff there. This is new, which you can put your store, um, your cotton buds in, cotton pads. And it's like a bamboo vibe. I actually need to get a bag because I've got so much stuff. But that is what it looks like. And then we've got exfoliating mitts. There's some really cute Disney shower gels, which I'm going to get when I go to Disney. But I don't want to get one today. So I think I'm just going to throw it away after I've stayed. But there's a bamboo section there as well. And they've got like everything here. I've not seen a lot of this. Like this is really cute. The little cleansing mitts, Winnie the Pooh see what's on the other side of it because you get two. Oh, just a pink one with Winnie the Pooh on it and let's see if there's anything else on the other side no so that is all your Disney stuff this is like a really big Primark um, it's a little bit overwhelming in here but I'm gonna try and find the fitting rooms and the cafe So this is the bar cart that everyone's been talking about on Instagram. It's actually quite big. It's £50. So I thought I would just quickly pop on and show that. The little Disney cafe is over there. It is, I think, I don't think it's shut. But no one was in it, so I didn't want to talk. So it felt a bit awkward, but it's literally there in front of me. So I'm getting a Taco Bell for dinner. And I'm going for number two. 
I have only had this in America, so I'm so excited to see how it is. I'll let you know. We'll, we'll do a little review when we go sit down. But there is so many places in here. We've got Pizza Hut, a Chopsticks, we've got a KFC. There's like a Pizza Express, obviously. There's Primark randomly up here. There's a Shake Shack. I might get that tomorrow night. Um, there's just so much in here, guys. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we've got two different tacos. I've got, the bo they're both hard, but one's beef, one's chicken, and then we've got chips. She said it came with cheese sauce, but it hasn't, so I've got some mayo. But this is my little view for dinner tonight, looking out over Lakeside. So let's try one of these. I don't know which one's which, but I am super stoked about this. Also, I went to Victoria's Secret, well, the pink, the one next door to Victoria's Secret and spent so much money, like so much. They have the nicest underwear in there ever. So I went in there, spent a lot, got some bits in Zara because I had some vouchers for Zara. And then, where else did I look? I think that's kind of it. Oh, Primark. And I got, got that cute little Donald bag of Primark and shower cap. Um, that's it. It's very big here. And it's quite overwhelming if you've never been before. So... Yeah, I feel like I may come back tomorrow night, but I think I, I finish work quite late tomorrow. But this is open till 9, which is so, so good. It's like in America, and it's, oh my god, the people here are so nice as well in Essex. I went to Victoria's Secret, the woman was chatting to me, the man said, so nice to have you here in Primark. Like, it's just, just another level of people, they're just so nice. Well, that is right. Anyways, I'm going to eat, and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so absolutely demolished the beef one and this is the chicken one that we're about to try. It is 10 out of 10. So good, guys. I'm stoked. Okay, I need to vlog before I forget. I probably have food all over my mouth, but oh my gosh, it was good. I probably didn't need to. I'm probably just being a bit greedy. But the beef one was really good. I kind of wish I had two of those. The chicken one was really, really good as well. I don't know if I can finish the chips, but oh my gosh. I need a taco bell near me because it's vibe. So I'm probably going to come back here tomorrow night for dinner and it's going to be either a taco bell again or maybe a Shake Shack. Because we have them in London, obviously, but I don't live super close to London. But it is a treat and it is good. Um, everything else we kind of have here. Um, they've got Five Guys, Pizza Express. They've got Ed's Diner, Subway. There's a few other things. Chopsticks, I don't know what that is. Um, but I'm gonna finish up here, go to my car. I've got 9% battery. My charging need isn't in my car. I must find my way back to the hotel without my phone dying. So I'm gonna roll one out because I bought a lot of stuff in Victoria's Secret Pink. And um, I'm gonna go back to the hotel and I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm going to watch Cheer on Netflix because that's what I've been watching at the minute. I think I've spoken to you guys about it on Instagram stories if you've watched that. So I'm going to go back and watch Cheer. And there's a few work emails I actually need to do which have come in while I've been here. Anyways, yeah. Lakeside is a vibe. I need it in my life a lot more. It's just a shame it's so far away from me. Anyways, let's go home. Okay guys, I made it back to the hotel. Honestly, that Tim Horton drive through genuinely looks so cool. Um, but as soon as I got in my room, like this weird alarm was going off. It's not, it wasn't like a fire alarm. Sorry, I've just got the Brit Awards on. Amazing Tuesday night viewing. Um, I'm whispering because you don't know if they can hear next door. But it was like this alarm and I shut the door and I was like, what the hell is that noise? I opened the door, looked out, nothing was going on. I started to voice note my friend and then it stopped. So I don't really know what that was. But um, oh, I had a nice little day, day with myself. Took myself shopping, took myself for dinner by myself, which was really nice. I know some people find doing stuff by themselves like really hard or really weird. But I genuinely don't find that. I, I, it's just, I don't know. I like going to cinema by myself. I feel like... I can go sit and have a meal by myself. No, I'm not really that bothered about people around me if they think it's weird. A lot of people downstairs in the restaurant were sat by themselves just now. Um, but oh my god, I'm so full from dinner. I feel like I need to do a workout, but I'm too full. Um, also, this makeup has been on since six o'clock this morning, so it's not done too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in the shower, gonna wash my hair, take this makeup off and then get into bed and watch a bit of cheer and hopefully have an early night because 
I don't have to get up super early tomorrow, but I still have to be up at a decent time. So that being said, this is probably gonna be the end of this little premiere in lakeside vlog. If I decide to go again tomorrow, I will maybe vlog it, but probably not because I feel like you've seen enough of my face and lakeside, but honestly, it's so good. It's in Essex, it's in Thurrock, I think is what it's called. And um, they've got everything here, everything. I'm so jealous of you guys that live next to Lakeside, all the shops that you guys have got, all the food places you guys have got. It's just, it's a vibe. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and keeping me company and coming along. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.